to Cuba, now's your chance. A local world travel expert is taking a tour to Cuba, and she says you should go now before it gets too Americanized. Angela Gargano joins me now with more. Full disclosure, and I think this adds credit to what she's doing. She's a very good friend of mine, owner of Bliss Flow Yoga. And you have also, Angela, organized several trips around the world, taking Madisonians yes. out and abroad. Yes, I've done several yoga and wine trips, which are a lot of fun, to Italy. Mm -hmm. We've done some to the Napa Valley. Now so let's talk about this trip to Cuba. This is in October. Yes, October 16th through the 22nd. And what is unique about your trip that people couldn't get, say, for example, if they take a cruise down there? Well, we have a lot of unique experiences that you couldn't do on your own. For example, we're going into the home of Jorge Luis Pacheco, who's a jazz musician that's played at the Kennedy Center, and we'll have a perf private performance in his home. We'll get to meet him. Um, we do the same thing with the dance troupe, a flamenco dance troupe. We get to meet them, talk to them. Um, You're, it's really a, lot a of, full immersion. It is a full immersion. It's not the kind of experience you could have on your own. It's the kind of travel I love, the off-the-beaten-path travel where you get to meet people and really feel the culture. What about the food? Where are you taking people to Ooh. eat? Have you uh, arranged chefs to cook? We have. Um, we're going to be doing a cooking class at an organic farm right outside of Havana. And then in Cuba right now, because there are only state-run restaurants, there's the rise of paladares, which are homes that provide cooking. And there's a lot of innovative, really Really fun cooking happening in those paladares. So a lot of our meals will be there. And what about seeing the countryside? Of course, when you go to these places, that will be amazing. But what about getting out and seeing the countryside? Well, we have one whole day in Hemingway's favorite fishing village, Kohimar. And so we'll spend a day there. And again, we're going to spend a little time on a farm outside of Havana. So we will get outside of Havana as well and kind of see a bit of the Cuban countryside. And so there is a uh it's really kind of all-inclusive. It's going to be the airfare from Miami to Cuba. Yes. Airfare from Miami to Cuba. We're staying at a lovely hotel in the center of Old Havana, one of the best hotels in Havana. Um, it includes meals. It includes all of the activities. You'll have me at your disposal to help show you around Havana, as well as um, an expert in Cuban art and music who's Spanish-speaking who will be with us. So lots of personalized attention. But again, I think it's that off the beaten path kind of travel, but you don't have to worry about the details because I'm taking you off the beaten path. <laughs> That's right, and you're also helping uh, with all the government documents, all of the red tape you have to get through. Absolutely, well, you know, now there's the impression that travel to Cuba is very open, but it's still in a state of flux. There are still a lot of visa requirements. You have to have a cultural people-to-people -people, um, reason for your trip, which we've taken care of. We take care of all the details on the ground. For example, um, American credit cards don't work in Cuba. So that makes it challenging to book things like hotels and transportation. Again, we've taken care of all of that. You can just sit back and drink your mojito. And you've been <laughs> talking about how it's important to go now before it gets too Americanized. Yeah, it's not just Americanized. It's that it's an exciting time in Cuban history. So much is changing. It's evolving minute to minute. This is the moment to go. And I really think it's the kind of trip that you're going to look back 30 years later and say, I was in Havana then. So I think now is the time to go. It's changing minute by minute. When is the trip in October. It's October 16th through the 22nd. And how do people get in touch with you, Angela, if they even just want to inquire about this? Absolutely. Just go to my website. It's AngelaGargano.com and click on Upcoming Trips, and all the info is there. Angela Gargano, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. This sounds like a very exciting trip. Thank you, Christine. Let's roll the chimes and